All right, on to Buccaneary Shop once more here. Hello, my dear, how are you doing today? Welcome, let's tally up that booty. You've collected 1,479 Buccaneary coins. Look at you, Mr. Adventurer, bringing in Buccaneary coins from high and low. I bet you're pretty famished by now, eh? Well, I, have, I got something for you. Here, have this. He's right there this time, nice. Okay, little one, we, like, we've rehearsed a billion times now. Just, eek! I swear, that Cretan will be the life of me one day. Just, on it, ma'am. <laughs> for you, sir. It's my very last brew. Oh, okay, so we've gotten, wow. Oh, we got a lot of health now, though. You'll miss that taste, eh? You're a real owl man now, I'd reckon. <laughs> okay, so we got the canteen. We can't afford the scope yet. Oh, blast. Oh, we got, this is upgrades for our guys. Uh, maximum fire and specter cloak. Oh, interesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the scope will give us uh, more. We only are... 20, uh, 21 coins away from that? That's awesome. We'll have to come back here really quick here. As soon as we get enough for that. Now, where are we headed? Oh, we're headed over to that little, that little portal we found before. Uh, it was over here someplace. I believe, right? I don't quite remember exactly how to get there. But this is the way, I believe. There it is. Yep. Alright, let's get back in there. And teleport in. The, the technology from Owls is amazing. They've got the uh, full, like, uh, TNG teleporters. They've got, uh, like, remote blinking uh, stuff here. Where we can blink people in and out of the void of existence. And call them, summon them from nowhere. And the people I, can, I just I just met, like, I just met Alphonse. And I, he was already, like, attuned to me. So does that mean I can, like, I can just pick a person off the street and just vanish them? If I need to, it's like, you're in my pocket now. These guys are in my pocket right now, good. Okay guys, it seems that there's more to this place than that blob monster thing. There's no telling what we'll encounter ahead. Not to worry, Master Getty. We've had some great progress. Isn't that right, Master Otis? Ah, uh, yeah, but obviously. I think he's in, tele he's in a teleporter coma. <laughs> His eyes are bugging out, yep. Hey buddy, it's going to be okay, man. I'm always going to be there for you, <laughs> no matter what. Oh, that's so charming. Thank you. Now, let's go. This place is nothing for the likes of us. All right, you're right. Let's get out of here. You guys stay here. I'll be, I'll be going on ahead. So, we have to find uh, Twig, was his name? Because it seemed like he was a little conflicted about what's going on here right now. Hey, uh, what are you doing, buddy? Excuse me. Huh? You again. I don't know how you got past the defense system. But there's no way you're getting this relic before me. Uh. Well, I mean, I could get it right now. Maybe not. All right. We'll we'll think we'll think about that one. Oh, we got uh, we're three away from uh, 1500. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Not an Alphonse thing. Not a Getty thing. Okay. Neither an Alphonse nor a Getty bee. Are these things we can go through? Oh, what is this? I don't want to pick you guys up. I want to activate this. Oh my, I recognize this language. It's written by Ancient Owl. Let me read it for you. Clearing out this continent has taken a while, but we can finally begin our work. The work from the abandoned temple has paid off and we've been able to make the local wildlife part of the Theorem Solver. We'll augment them and make them excavate with the automatons. I estimate that within a few decades of excavation, we can begin construction. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Are we reading it again here now? Yeah, we know we're right at the thank you, thank you, thank you. I was hoping that you'd have like a little more detail than that. A little context maybe, you know, just, just a thought. All right, so, oh, oh, oh. Uh, we need to smash this thing. Oh, there we go. 
Um, and how, why are these? Oh, the oh, I see. We have to make them all disappear. Okay. Oh, you know what we can do is like this and drop. It. Oh, right. I was hoping we could drop it down, but uh, we need to blast these guys here. Come on. There we go. Break that off. That works. That's a little bit better. We need this, buddy. I need this badly. There we go. So I'm glad we've been getting all the, the coin upgrades here. Oh, this is going to be tough. Uh, yeah, you better stay back here. I don't... I don't like our odds here. We gotta dash through here, like, quickly. Oh, jeez, that is a, a close one, isn't it? Oh, the front of these guys is invulnerable, I think. You gotta get the back one. There you go. And some more. Some more goodies for us. So once we get back out of here, we'll head to Buccaneer Coins once more. Or we'll head to Buccaneer's once more and get some, uh, spend some coins on upgrade for Getty. Or an or a even bigger upgrade, maybe. There we go. And more. Nice. Now, are we in a different section than from before? Let's take a look at the coins here quick. Uh, let's see. Floating Continent Molten. Yes, we are in a different area now. So we got 201 in the, in the other area. Not too bad. It's about a third of the coins. A little over a third. Not too shabby. Oh, we can't just smash that guy in the face. I was hoping we could. Let's get down below here. Oh, come on. I'm taking so much frivolous damage here. I gotta be more careful. As I say that, I get damaged again. Luckily, there's some food here occasionally. Not enough to fix us. Oh, this is, this is, this is bad. I don't like this. What? what? No! Are you kidding me? We weren't in it. I, w I was purposely going right up against the rock there so we could, like, be as close as possible to dash through it. Like, luckily, we're right here. That's nice. Uh, and we have a little more health then, too. Okay, so we have to might have to time this differently. One, two. Now's the time to go. There we go. Okay, we gotta, like, time it just right on all these things. And same with these guys. Alright, I'll be much more careful here now. There we go. Look at that. Getting better. There we go. See, you didn't even take any damage there. Oh, here we go. We need a little fonts again. What do we got for us? There's been some infighting, and if and some of the main architects have left the project. They have been banished from the continent, and work continues. The light cradle is operational, and we have all the power that we need. Construction of the hex machine itself has been delayed due to the immense complexity of the structure. I hope I will see construction begin in my lifetime. Um. Oh, I see, I see. Where do we spin this thing? Ah, on this side, okay, I got it. Spin it on the left-hand side to go down. Nice. Oh, what did that do? I guess this has to re recess to some place. Are we unlocking this thing? Because what are the odds we're going to get to it before him after we unlock it? Because, I mean... Alright, well that's one thing, I guess, but still. We're going to get this thing all unlocked, and then he's going to like swoop in the last second and grab it. I just don't see how this helps us right now. Alright, so, yeah. One, two, and then it's going to be unlocked, and then all bets are off. Okay. Glad I didn't just rush into here blindly. Uh. 
So someone in the comments mentioned that I can uh, hold down the dash button rather than pressing dash over and over again. And uh, that seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, it seems to be dashing properly like I want it to. Oh, dude, I thought this monkey was gone. Do they keep coming? Uh, yeah, these are, these are some crazy monkeys. Chimpanzees? I don't know. Why is the Owl Temple full of monkeys? Are these the workers? Are like, these are these the guys that they've been like, uh, having work alongside the automatons. They, they've been trying to get to do their, their bidding. Uh, maybe. That one's not going anywhere, okay. It looks like it will eventually though. What about up here? Let's wait on that for a second here. Okay, let's go back up here then. I just don't know which way is the best way to go right away. We got something here. Hmm. I'm gonna put two things in there. Looks like. So we'll need to explore everywhere probably. Stands a reason. Oh, so many! Oh boy. Oh, more uh, more text here. Let's let's get Alphonse to read this one. The hex machine is beginning to take shape. Which shape is it? Hexagon, probably, right? I'm not sure anyone fully understands the design anymore, but the initial tests have been successful. The light cradle is over capacity, and we are drawing power from the continent itself. We'll fire up the hex machine within a few years when the relics are charged. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Oh, this is taking a long time. Uh, if this is like generations old uh, project. So the father wanted to like see it, see it in his lifetime. Now this guy's like, it'll be a few years and we'll fire it up. Now next year it's gonna be like the grandson will be uh, trying to complete the, the job after that. Oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, really? I'm doing so well. Okay, we got this. Uh, I'm guessing this needs to go over to where we uh, saw those little holes before. Um, very carefully. There we go. It was over here, right? Start over here? Nope, it was down further. It was to the right one of these ways, though. Here we go. I'm guessing it goes over here. Okay, we gotta wait on that one. Probably gotta put them both in, though. Alright, so we went up before. I'm guessing now we go to the left. Okay, we got that one already. Either we go up now or, uh... You know, now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't go to the... Okay, this is this is new, yes, but... Come on, really? I wonder why it gives us that little, uh, little sound it just gave us a second ago. What's that signifying? Oh, come on. I feel like this da monkey damage is... Oh, that poor guy fell in the lava. This monkey damage is not, uh... For the most part, warranted. I could avoid it pretty easily. Oops. Not you. Here we go. Hmm. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Okay. It goes on like that for a while. Going for it, just going for it. Had to concentrate a little bit too much there. We got there though. Oh, and there's the last uh thing. Oh, but see, like what I'm talking about. See, now we unlock both things, and it totally is gonna be available to steal. Yeah, great. Just what we wanted. This guy's just waiting on us to to 
Oh. Well, he probably can't do that, right? He needs us to do that. Well, we'll be heading back that way in a moment. Um. Alright, we got the other screw here? Can we sneak through this way? Maybe. Sure enough. Um, before we drop this off, though, there was, I said, there was a spot we didn't explore yet, and it was back over here. Um, it was this way. Come on. Alright, so it was, it was just a, just a little secret over here. Good to know. Send up some of these weeds around here. And then we're going back up again. And the thing's right here. Okay. And it left the screw for us. So that's good. So it says it's a, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Should we be activating this thing? Whatever we're doing right now? How curious. These displays are showing some schematics along with a log. It says, the hex is complete. The world is destroyed. Looping. The... The world is destroyed? What does that mean? Hmm. The hex is complete. The world is destroyed. Looping. Well, the world is definitely still out there. I wonder what the owls were doing in here. It sounds like the work of madness. I don't want to stay in this place any longer than we have to. Let's just get this relic before Dirk does and get out of here. Good idea. I wonder if, like, the floating islands and that kind of thing are not, like, supposed to be. Like, this was a traditional kind of planet before, and they kind of, like, broke things a little bit. Okay. No, he's... Do not aggro this dude. Oh, no. Okay. We got King Louie on our hands. Uh. Huh. Okay. Here we go. Hey, bro. Where was the Nas, buddy? Okay. Um. I know you're not gonna. Well, okay, I fell in lava there. That'll do. That'll do it. Did he like hit him with like, I don't know what, like a like a he's got extra arms, isn't he? Like coming out of his. Yeah, he's got extra arms coming out of his head. I guess they all do, huh? So we want to avoid getting knocked into the lava there. Fight for me, monkey friends. Alright, they kind of just kill themselves, don't they? Oh, jeez! They just do a takedown on you. Okay, we got to avoid getting hit by them at all. Um, might be worthwhile getting using, using Alphonse occasionally here then, too. All right, here we go. One more time. All right, monkey man. Doesn't seem like we can stand on there anymore. We have to stay up the entire time here. They can stand on it, we can't. Okay, that's the trick here, isn't it? They have the ability to stand, we don't. Not that we want to anyways, we're more mobile this way. That was good timing for that. No! We gotta make sure to like, jump off of them if they, they, they do end up grabbing us. So far, so good. When are we going to be able to attack this guy directly? Or is he just going to make all his minions do all the work around here? Go, 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 go! Go! Oh! Oh! We had him! We had him! I don't know if that was even close to being the end here. Okay, we just got to do better. We just got to do better. Long story short, we got to do better. So we got to be more strategic, I think, about when we knock them down is the trick here. The first couple we can take on, no problem. We just gotta, again, we gotta be more strategic about when we start hitting them. 
like that. Like that. That works nicely. You gotta drop these guys right into the lava next time. Like this guy. Let him come to us. That's the trick here, I think. I'm gonna stay over here this time. I'll let them wander their way over here. Oh, not that. It's bad. Okay, once they get once they get uh positioned, we're in trouble. Okay, we are that, that not that did not go perfectly. We can do better. Okay, here we go. Oh, they, they missed it! They missed it! Oh, those jerks. Those jerks. <laughs> Come on. Seems like if I drop underneath them, they, they will fall in. That might be the key to the trick here, too, is to dash underneath them when they're going over the top of us. And uh, they will fall in. Oh, no, that's not good either. Oh, come on. That was two from the same guy? Come on. Okay, we're not doing great here. There's more. There's got to be more. There's always more. Nah. All right, so what I've found is that they fall if we fly underneath them. So we kind of have to use that to our advantage. And uh, dash underneath them right at the right moment. And they'll just drop. As long as we time it right. And if we, they don't drop, we, we are in position then to uh, take them on right away then. When there's an, just a couple of them, that is. Once there's more of them, it's going to be tougher. There we go. There we go. That worked okay. Still didn't take any damage this time around. That's good. That's good. It's better than we've been doing. Okay. Here we go. we got to be careful about how we... Go underneath these guys. Okay, one, one to take care of. That's not bad. As long as it doesn't catch me. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that was bad too. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Alright, one hit. Okay. That's better than we've been doing. That's better than we've been doing. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Run, 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 run. No. Okay, two down. Should've go. Okay, we might have pissed him off. Just a little bit. Oh? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, okay, whatever he's scared of makes me scared. Thanks, thanks for that. 